What's up guys, Eric here, and welcome to another video of staying at home. Another day of being stuck in your house. Are you guys stuck at home like I am? Pretty much nowhere to go, nothing to do as we all try to stay safe from the craziness, the craziness that is going on in the world right now. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you stuck at home? Or are you in an area where it's not quite so, you know, restricted? I'd, I'd love to know from you guys. And uh, yeah, we've got more news today. This is a video we're gonna talking. We're gonna be talking more. I can't even speak right now. We're gonna be talking more about the hiatus of some of our favorite shows. It seems like everything is impacted. It doesn't really matter what you're watching on TV. If your stuff is supposed to be filming right now, it's probably not happening. They're probably not doing the show at the moment. Um, so in this video, we're gonna be talking primarily about The Flash season six and Stargirl season one. I'm gonna do a quick update for people. You may not have caught any news on this before. So here's the quick update on this. The CW shows, all the Arrowverse shows that we're filming right now or we're supposed to be filming within the next month or so have been postponed. Basically, no one is working on any of these shows on, in the filming side. I, I know there's a lot of post-production going on, some sound stuff, maybe some VFX stuff, but as far as filming goes, everything has been pretty much shut down and that should not be a big surprise. Most shows are postponed right now in terms of filming. So there you go, you're caught up. And that's all we really knew. The next phase of that was, we didn't know when the episodes were gonna air. We're gonna know how that was gonna work. They updated us on that. That's still a changing story. We're gonna talk a little bit about that in this video. And now we can stop speculating about what's gonna happen with the finales for these shows because it seems like a lot of the CW shows are being affected by this. And this article here from Variety, I will link it down below for you guys. Again, minute by minute news, there's no rhyme or reason to when this stuff comes out. So as soon as I have a chance to sit down and film it and talk about it with you guys, I will. This came out yesterday, no, yeah, it came out yesterday, but I had already filmed my video for the day, so you're getting this today. Um, it goes, Supernatural, The Flash, and Legacy season endings pushed due to, you know what, I'm not saying it. And we're going to read more here. It goes, Supernatural fans are going to have to wait a while longer to find out how the show ends. Neither Supernatural, Supernatural, nor The Flash, nor Legacies will be able to finish their current seasons in the time frame that was originally planned. That's pretty major. All three CW series were among hundreds that were forced to shut down production due to, you know what, meaning that they were unable to complete shooting and their season endings have now been pushed to an undetermined time later in 2020, according to a source close to the network. Now, typically, when they have a line like that, according to a source close to someone with the project, close to the network, close to the studio, I sort of go, uh, I don't know. But this is Variety, and Variety typically checks and vets their sources. This also lines up with some of the rumors that I've been hearing, some of the things on the production side where people are saying that they know sort of when they think they're gonna be filming again and how long it's gonna take for them to go back. All of it's sort of lining up together. So I believe that this news is probably close to being as accurate as you can get. I think that if there's any, like anything with this that's not accurate, it's a very tiny bit. So I do believe that this means that the filming of the finale episodes, those last couple episodes, the penultimate and the finale episodes for a lot of these shows, don't expect them to get filmed within the next like month or two months. We're talking probably into the summer a bit, maybe even later in the year if the shows don't have a chance to film for their fall premiere. Um, we're going to skip over the legacies part here. We're going to move down to the flash portion right here. Uh, whoops, <laughs> that, was, that was not good. Oh, it's not going to work. Anyway, we're right here. On the Flash front, the DC show has enough episodes completed to last through May 19th. However, it too will then go in a hiatus with the hope of returning to finish season six later in 2020. Replacing it in the Tuesday 8 p.m. time slot will be the new drama, Stargirl, which is shifting its premiere date up a week. Stargirl will now premiere one day after it debuts digitally on the DC Universe platform as its digital debut also moves up a week. We're gonna talk about that in a second. However, very quickly, so they have enough episodes to last through May 19th. So if we count backwards from where we are, that's probably four episodes, which means that if we look at May 19th, let me go over to my calendar, uh, do a little, a little math, not in my head. That means that the next episode of The Flash should air on April 28th, maybe the 21st. 
So I don't think we're gonna get any new episodes of The Flash until either the 21st or the 28th, which means we will see reruns or other things in those spots up until then. 21st being the soonest that I think it would come back. If it comes back the 14th, I'll be very surprised, but it's quite possible. There may be something weird in there with their scheduling that makes them, you know, allows them to last up until that date. So anyway, uh, that's the way it looks right now is that the flash, basically the finale is not going to happen at the end of this season. Like it should, it's probably going to be something special filmed later on. We'll have to focus on that when we get more news on how they're going to structure that. But right now we do know that we're going to get the remainder of the season up until the middle of May, and then it's going to go on break and star girl is going to replace the flash in the lineup. Let's switch over here to the star girl story. Um, wow, this is not a great view. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can fix this for you guys. All right, so it says here, uh, Stargirl gets a new premiere date, May 18th. And it says, heads up, Courtney Whitmore fans. I, are, I, I this is no disrespect. Is she big, in, is, does she already have like a fan base? I didn't realize. Okay, heads up, Courtney Whitmore fans. We've just received word that the premiere date of the DC Universe next live action series, Stargirl, has been moved one week. You'll recall that the show was originally scheduled to premiere on May 11th. Well, now you can give yourself an extra seven days. That's not really something to be excited about to prepare for Courtney's arrival because her series will begin on Monday, May 18th, one day before it arrives on the CW on Tuesday, May 19th. So this article is funny because it makes it sound like it's so exciting to have to wait an extra week for the show. It's not exciting at all, but <laughs> it's such a weird way to put it, but at least they're staying positive. And I'll admit, I'm not familiar with Courtney Whitmore, but um, I think she looks great as Stargirl. So I'm really excited for the series and I uh, can't wait to review this. It goes, every week thereafter, the DC Universe members will be the first to stream the new episodes of the show, commercial free and downloadable 4K Ultra HD. If you have DC Universe, I, I don't think it's available. Is it available outside the United States? I don't think it is. If it is, it's very select areas. Um, yeah, so DCU members will be able to access extended versions of select episodes, enjoy behind the scenes videos of cast crew, acquire unique collectible pins. Basically you get a bunch of swag and, um, the, the community tab and all that and everything. So anyway, yeah, so it looks like star girl, they're going to use this to fill in that space where the flash would be at eight o'clock. I did it say eight. I'm just going to double check. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. I think it's, I think it is going to be at eight. So yeah, so let's go with eight. So eight o'clock, it's going to fill in the slot where the flash would be. And um, it's going to run that course for a while until the flash can get back to filming and get their episodes uh, in order for their penultimate and their finale and uh, finish up their season. I, they may get a shorter season. I saw an article about what a shorter season could mean for the flash. If I could find that article again, I will talk about it with you guys because I think it was an interesting read. So how do you feel about this? So now we know that the flash is coming back, but it's going to take a long break after that. We don't know when the finale is coming. We know it's later this year. They said 2020. So they're shooting for this year. So that's good. We also know that star girl is premiering in place of the flash and it's probably going to run its entire season up through the summer. So what are your thoughts on all of this? I don't really know how I feel because I do realize that this is a unique situation and there's not much that we can do about it in terms of like making it any better. But I will admit having Stargirl to replace the Flash does help buffer the, the blow a little bit, make things a little bit better. So at least we know we have something to watch on TV for the next couple of months because this is huge. And Legends, they have, their season is basically finished. So Legends is pretty good. Supergirl is probably in a pretty good spot too, considering they were in a shorter season to begin with. Batwoman, still not sure. Don't know if anybody really cares. I mean, it seems like Batwoman is not on anybody's mind right now. So, uh, but I will try and update you guys with any other information that I get. Here's the thing. Give me a like if you enjoy The Flash. Give me a like if you're happy about Stargirl. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate it. And I love and I love seeing all those likes. It means a lot to me. Leave me a comment below. Give me your opinions, your thoughts, and everything on this. Hit the subscribe button. Become part of the Ericverse. If you feel so inclined, hit the join button and become part of Team Eric. Get early access to my Black Lightning Season 3 overview now before it goes live in a few days. You can get it still a couple days before it goes out to everybody else. 
Um, also, you can see my review for The Watchmen Season 1 and my Birds of Prey review, as well as some behind the scenes stuff, all behind that join button. So click over there, and if you can do it, great. If not, I still love you guys, and I appreciate it. That's it. If any more news comes out, I'll do another video. If not, I will catch you guys probably tomorrow. I might stream live or something with Pagey. We'll see. We'll figure something out. Anyway, um, have a great day as best you can. Stay strong. Stay safe. <laughs>